My son Jimmy Hand has a rare genetic mutation, TRNT1. That is the gene that's mutated. It doesn't even have a name because it's just that rare. He's the 47th person ever to be diagnosed with this mutation. It causes many different things, including sideroblastic anemia, immunocompromised, and the way that his body fights off illnesses. Because of this, Jimmy has a hugely complex medical history. Most of it's been to Riley Children's Hospital in Indianapolis. And if you're interested in learning more about that, we have a whole TikTok channel with just everything, every moment that we've had in the hospital with Jimmy. Part of this medical history is that Jimmy needed a trach. If you're watching this video, chances are you're one of three people. Either you have a medically complex child, you have a child who has a trach or is about to possibly get a trach, or you just think Jimmy is super cute, which you are not wrong. If your child does get a trach, you're gonna have a setup probably very similar to this. We are in our bedroom right now, and Jimmy owns this side of the bedroom. We have a crib, and then we have his home ventilator, which we have an Evo, and then a circuit. And we are going to be changing the circuit today. I'm gonna to go through step-by-step step on what you need, how you change it, um, what tubes go where, what gets plugged in where, all of the things. So that way, if you are a parent of a child who's about to have a trach, you will have kind of a leg up when you go into training and know where things go. Your setup may be different, not everything's gonna be exactly the same, but for the Evo model and for the stuff that we have, this is how it will go. I'm gonna have this B cam here, which is going to show my kind of point of view throughout the whole thing. There's my camera and what I'm looking at and my awesome light that makes me look good. Here's Jimmy watching me like what are you doing okay so this is the evo phillips this is what we use for jimmy we have two this is his home vent that stays in here permanently and then we have a transport one this is the water bag not every setup is going to have this some there's a water chamber right there and that is what provides humidity going to jimmy so some water chambers you have to pop off this piece right here to fill it up with water intermittently we got the one where there's a wire here or tube and this tube connects from the water chamber and runs all the way up to the water bag now if you are lucky enough to have a water bag like this the only thing that's annoying is typically it comes on a separate pole because it has to be higher than the water chamber. What we ended up doing was I went to uh, True Value and got this wooden pole and just brought it down and attached it to the back of our ventilator and then at the top of that I reattached the top of a pole that we were given and this acts as a one in all system for his ventilator. It's pretty cool. Okay so first things first is what are the things that you need to change the circuit? Well first of all you need the tube. This is a bag with all the new tubes. It needs to be changed out once a week. I always put a sticker on the tubing so we know exactly which day it needs to be changed. Next you need a new water chamber and again we have the water chamber that connects to the water bag so it's fed continuously but if not yours is going to look very similar to this just without the little cord tubing that comes with this. New filter that goes right on here. I'll show you that in a moment. And you need a new Ballard closed suction system. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart. I like to first start by taking off the filter and the tube that runs down to the water chamber. To take off this filter, you literally just pop it off the side, like that, and then you have that, and then you pop this little tube right off the water chamber. When you're done with both of these, they're trash, get rid of them. Next, we need to get this tube off of the water chamber, and to do that, we need to unplug all of these things that are plugged into the tubing that tells the whole system how much humidification is getting to your child. To get this gray cord out, there's a little tab here, and it's holding it in. You really, you can't pull straight out. You have to kind of twist to the side, and pull at the same time. So you twist and pull, and it feels like you're gonna break it, but I promise you're not, and it just pops right out. Next, we need to take this cord out that comes out the back. It connects here to this device and then runs down into the side of the water chamber. 
So we're going to just pull that out, just like that. And leave that hanging. And now this cable that we pulled out before has another piece that runs down the line of the tubing all the way to here and plugs in there. So we're gonna have to take off these little clips and pull that whole tube off. So next we're gonna go ahead and pop this piece off here, just like that. I'm gonna start taking these little clips off one by one, and that will release this part of the wire. You laughing? You think this is funny? Oh, he loves this balloon when it's inflated. So we're gonna show you that and see how much he enjoys that. Look at, he's getting excited about it right now. Crazy. So you just keep taking off all these clips. You get to the end of the line. You're gonna have this wire that's in here. You just pop that right out. Bam, just like that. So now all of this tubing that we just took out is done for, except for the balloon piece and this exhalation port. We need both of those. So we're gonna pop those out. Just like that. Get rid of this. Okay, so now the most difficult part of this whole thing is getting the water chamber off and replacing this piece without getting water everywhere. If you don't have this, you can just skip to the next step. You have to push down on this little blue piece to release the water chamber, pull straight out, and then bam, you've got the water chamber out. The cable runs up, but I'm not gonna pull this out yet until I have the new water chamber set up and ready to stab it. And I'll show you how I do that without getting water everywhere. So the first thing we're gonna open is this new water chamber. And it starts by just getting this um, stab plug piece out that goes into the bag and releasing the cord that goes all the way around. And then you can pull off this white piece and the blue tabs that were in here. Throw those away, and this is your new water chamber. So now we're gonna take this water chamber and put it where the old one was. You set it on top of the blue piece here, on top of the water heater, on top of the heater. I've been calling it water chamber, but it's heater. To put this back on, you push down on the blue piece with the water chamber on top of the heater, and then you slide right back into place until it clicks, just like that. So for this part, I like to take the water bag down and set it on a flat surface like this. Then what I'm able to do without draining the water out of this bag is lift up the end, pull out the old, I'm dropping stuff, pull out the old water chamber connection, take the new water connection, and stab the bag. Make sure it's good enough there. Do it a couple times, and then bam. You drop a few clippy pieces and you're all good, but you have the water bag and now it is draining into your new water chamber. Pick up these water clips. Now like I said before, if you don't have one with the water bag and it draining in, then you don't have to worry about that step. You just take off the old water chamber and put on the new one. Trash. So next I'm going to open up the new filter and we're going to put that on. Always make sure you wash your hands before you do this, hand sanitizer or something like that. You have two ends. There's a big end and a small end. Big end goes towards the vent, small end goes, goes towards the tube. Next, we're going to open up the tubing. We are going to connect the small tube from the filter down to the water chamber. We're going to connect it on the right hand side of this water chamber. Technically, it doesn't matter which side the tube goes to, but clearly the tube isn't really long enough to reach the other side, so you go to the closest that you're able to. Next, we're going to take out the big tubing. Most of the time, the tube comes with clips, but some of the ones that we've gotten don't have clips. That's why I always save the ones on, from the other two, just in case. There are two ends. This one is the one that goes to your child, and then this one is the one with all the plugs that we need to put on the water chamber. First, you're gonna need to unplug this little white piece right here, and that just pops right out of the side. When you're putting this new tube onto the water chamber, there's only one side that actually goes to the tube. This side is the part of the plug that we took out earlier. 
So this piece will go on just like that. Bam. Now we're gonna plug back in the things we unplugged before. First things first is the yellow cable, which has the uh, bulky monitor piece on there. It has this kind of plug, which only can go into one place, which is the back of this tube here. So you just line up that plug and push it in. Once you're done with the yellow cable, we're now gonna move on to the blue cable. And that's the piece that has this little connection and then the long cable that runs down the tube. This connection goes into here and it just goes in in a way that this clip matches up with this. And there's no twisting that you have to do this time. You just line up the triangle right here, triangle, triangle, and you push it in until it clips. Once it clicks, you're good to go. Now we're gonna take the tubing and the cable and we're gonna run it down. And at this end, there is a plug that comes out of the tube and then you push this piece into that plug space. Now we're gonna run it down and we're gonna clip this wire in all the way down the tube. So now we are going to attach the exhalation port to the tubing. Now there are two sides to the exhalation port and either one of them can connect to this end of the tubing. But only one end of the exhalation port will spin and that's the side that you want to connect to the tubing. So in that case, it's this one. You can also look at the ends of the tubing or the exhalation port. This one is just a single and then this one has kind of like a double rim. The double rim goes away from the tubing. Just like that. So now we're at the point where we get to have fun and we get to plug in the balloon to the exhalation port, turn on the system, and why we do that is so that we can let the water warm up before we plug it up to Jimmy. We want him to have warm air for humidification instead of cold. So you press the power button on your Evo, that turns on. Press the power button down here on the heater, that turns on. And all you have to do is hit start ventilation. Ventilation starts, and while that's going, the heater will start to warm up. Before we start playing with Jimmy with the balloon though, we're going to change out his pieces, the ballard, the uh, accordion piece, and all of that, so that we're ready to hook him up when we're done. Next, we are going to open the ballard. This is the piece that connects directly to your child's trach, and also has the suction piece on it. Throw this away, but your ballard also comes with little stickers that tell you when to change the circuit. So I always like to take this and put it on the circuit so I know when to change it. It also comes with a sticker to show you where your suction depth is on your child if you do not know, or if you have a nurse, or someone that needs to know this information. We don't have a nurse, we're Jimmy's nurses, so we don't need that. All we do is we pop these pieces off, like this. And then the uh, little alert sticker comes off. And now we have this piece open. And we take the little cap off here of the suction piece. The accordion piece is the next thing that we're going to open. Take the accordion piece, extend it out, bend it. And then we're going to, this top piece is the piece that attaches to the trach. And then this piece is what leads to the tubing. You have two ends, only one end of the accordion piece will attach to that section. And then this is what attaches to the exhalation port. Jimmy's current setup, because he's not on a ventilator during the day, is the, uh, is the ballard that connects to the accordion and then the port connects to an HME to provide humidity throughout the day. So until we're ready to connect them back up, we're gonna just take these two pieces, replace it, and uh, put this piece back on. So we've got Jimmy's new ballard, new accordion piece, and we're just going to swap them out real quick. That was that simple, and now this one is trash. Now we're gonna watch Jimmy play with his favorite thing in the world for him. Balloon! 
<laughs> you pay with your bank. You love it. I swear he loves this thing more than anything else in the world. <laughs> The water chamber has now hit 35 degrees, which is about where we want it. So we're going to take this piece now and we're going to attach it to Jimmy. Another super important part to this is that you want all this tubing to be under your child because if it's over, condensation can build up and that will run down the tube into your child's lungs. He's laughing at me telling me about this. Down into your child's lungs, which you definitely don't want. So make sure you get a crib with slats in it because we take this and we run it right in between here and pull it up. So that way the tubing stays even or below Jimmy. So we have our tubing through the slat. We've got this and now we're gonna take this piece off and we're gonna reattach it here at the accordion piece. The final piece that sometimes gets forgotten is on the back of your ventilator there's this soft black gray charcoal filter and you can just pull that out and wash that off every once in a while and stick that back in there after it dries off and that will help filter. And that's it. Those are the pieces of taking a circuit and replacing all of it. Um, it really doesn't take that long. Maybe five minutes at max if you are fumbling with some stuff. It takes a lot longer if you're recording a video on how to do it. If you guys have any other different setups at home or any different tips or tricks that I didn't cover in this one, feel free to share those. And again, this is not a one size fits all. This is just what uh, Jimmy's system is, what we were taught and uh, what we've been doing and how we've learned to change his circuit. You may be told that you don't have to change it once a week. That's what we were told. That's what we've always done. So that's what we stick with. Plus, once you see the water filter after a week, you're definitely going to want to change it out every week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you would like to learn more about um, caring with a child with a trach or following along with Jimmy's story, feel free to give this channel a like and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more kind of day in the life videos, head over to our TikTok page, also TRNT1Dad, and you can see all of those videos there. All right, thanks guys. Just kind of waving by. All right, bye.